this is problem number 4 from the same chapter that is uh, method of substitution integration by the method of substitution so same thing means chapter is same problem is different this is problem number 4 so far i have uh, shown you the solution of three problems only and this is problem number 4 this problem is also very simple it is very easy to solve the problem is this integration of e to the power 2x e means small e exponentially okay e to the power 2x divided by e to the power x plus 1 dx this is the given problem okay so since name of the chapter is method of substitution so you know that some substitute you have to use to solve the given problem okay it is very easy the denominator is e to the power x plus 1 and here the numerator is e to the power 2x so here you assume that e to the power x plus 1 is equal to z okay now differentiate both sides so if you differentiate left side you will get on differentiation you are getting e to the power x dx is equal to e to the power z dz right you are getting this one now this thing you can use here so integ integration is i is equal to here this e to the power 2x this can be split up into two parts one e to the power x denominator e to the power x plus 1 and here you write e to the power x dx okay this e to the power x into e to the power x makes e to the power 2x now this is equal to what this is equal to the denominator is e to the power x plus 1 that is z here e to the power x is there from here we are getting e to the power x is equal to z minus 1 so z minus 1 this e to the power x dx this is equal to what this is equal to e to, e to the power z dz e to the power z sorry 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 e to the power z will not be there e to the power z will not be there only dz only dz okay only dz e to the power x dx is equal to dz so z minus 1 by z dz so it is z by z that is 1 so integration of dz minus integration of dz by z right one thing i i, I need to check okay that's fine that is visible so integration of dz minus integration of dz by z so integration of dz this is equal to z minus integration of dz by z that is it is log of mod z plus a constant of integration c right then z is what z is e to the power x plus 1 e to the power x plus 1 minus log of e to the power x plus 1 plus c okay now there is one constant one is there so this one plus this c c is also a constant which is constant of integration so if you add up these two constants this will make one single constant so final result is e to the power x minus log of e to the power x plus one plus a new constant c1 so this is the final result this is the solution of the given problem whether the lower line is visible or not i need to check once again yes it is visible so the, this is the final result okay answer this is the answer so so this is the answer okay once again i want to repeat the same thing 
the integration was the integration of e to the power 2x by e to the power x plus 1 dx. So here substitution is e to the power x plus 1. I have assumed it to be z. Then differentiate both sides. So we are getting in the left side e to the power x dx. In the right side only dz. Okay. Therefore integration i is equal to e to the power x by e to the power x plus 1 into e to the power x dx. You have e to the power 2x. This has been split up into two parts, e to the power x into e to the power x, like that. Okay. Now this e to the power x, from here we are getting that e to the power x is equal to z minus 1. And this e to the power x plus 1, this is equal to z. And this e to the power x dx, this is equal to dz. So now z by z, that is 1. So we are getting the first part integration of dz minus 1 by z, that is dz by z. Integration of dz by z. So integration of dz is z and integration of dz by z is equal to log of mod z plus a constant of integration c. Then z is equal to what? It is e to the power x plus 1. e to the power x plus 1 minus log of e to the power x plus 1 plus c. Now this 1 and c, 1 plus c is there. Together these two constants make one constant only and that has been written as c1, a new constant, c1. So result is e to the power x minus log of e to the power x plus c1. So this is the final answer. Okay. This is the end of the problem. Okay. Thank you.